Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan. We are here to talk about PC case and have a better understanding how does it perform. Few months ago, I shared you a very very quick video about the basics in choosing the right chassis. Pero this time, let's get deeper and dig more details and have this figurative explanation especially on how to check those benchmarks that we will be presenting soon about PC case reviews. Pero before we will move on to those like massive PC case testing that I will be presenting to you na inannounce ko na few months ago, I will share your first ideas that may clarify some speculations or assumptions about our knowledge on PC casing. And that will run across some topics like how ambient temperature may affect the PC case performance, non-airflow versus airflow chassis, is a restricted chassis really the worst, and is the best airflow in the world the really best chassis pagdating sa temperature benchmark. And to make this video more exciting, stay put lang po kayo mga kaibigan dahil at the end, I will be announcing that specific PC casing for our giveaway. And if you are now aware about the mechanics, like subscribe, comment, and share this video on your social media accounts, you may go ahead. Pero at the end of the video, dun pa lang po natin i-announce kung ano yung item. Alright, so sit back and relax and let's do this. This video is brought to you by SCDKey, the best website that you may visit in terms of uh, very affordable deals and best offer para sa application softwares, games, and yes, operating system. And there you are, you may check the Windows 10 Pro and by using our promo code, ma-avail mo lang siya ng around $14.95 or 700 plus pesos. That's it mga kaibigan. Check the description below. May mga links po tayo dyan to go directly sa kanilang website. Now let's start with the testing methodology. Ang ginawa po natin is a bit realistic kung paano yung setup ng common PC users dito sa Pilipinas. Like we have this electric fan, meron tayong room na kung climate controlled yung setup na gagawin natin, therefore open yung window and there is kind of enough ventilation that is always affected by what is the climate or what is the weather outside. So kung uh, umuulan, most likely malamig din sa inyong room. Pag uh, umaaraw naman, most likely mainit. That is for you guys to easily replicate if you want to prove if what I'm stating is fact. Pero yun nga lang, sobrang tiyaga ang kailangan dahil we will first discuss about the ambient temperature. How does this room temperature or climate controlled temperature affects the benchmark ng ating PC casing. What we did is we choose one of the chassis. This is actually the MSI with a good airflow. And uh, ang ginawa natin, we benchmark each ambient temperature or as the ambient temperature increases. And we observe the hardware temperature and as we progresses, nakita natin mga kaibigan that if the temperature of your room is increasing, it is the same with the hardware temperature. It is increasing 1 is to 1 ratio. And that is presented dito sa ating graph. And mapapansin nyo mga kaibigan that even decimals lang yung increase ng ambient temperature, there is also a decimal number of increase for the hardware. Ngayon, we speculated that maybe there's also an impact if moisturize yung air or dry yung air Pero we did our benchmark summertime and rainy season. Pero I ended up not presenting another graph for different weathers dahil ang naging resulta lang po mga kaibigan is whatever the ambient temperature, regardless of what is the weather, same na same pa rin po yung result. So with that being said and proven and tested by those raw data na pinepresent po natin dito, let's move on now sa ating airflow versus non-airflow chassis. To make this thing na walang human error na possibility para mag-doubt tayo sa ating result, I just use one chamber of chassis pero different front panel and one is high airflow front panel. Ibig sabihin ang pinagkaiba lang ng dalawang comparison na to is just the front panel. And I'm so thankful sa MSI dahil meron silang isang chassis na Gungnir series na ang pinagkaiba lang ng dalawang model is the front panel. 
And there we have the results. And mapapansin natin mga kaibigan that some of you guys may think twice. What? 5 degrees Celsius? I'm expecting 10. I'm expecting 15. And we ended up benchmarking another high airflow chassis, the unobstructed one, which is the Lianli. But still, the result is almost the same. Ngayon, anong napatunayan ng ating benchmark? Yes, it may not be significant if we are just dealing with hardware temperature that if in case hindi high airflow yung gagamitin nating chassis, acceptable pa rin yung temperature. That is 70 over 75 degrees Celsius. Pero what if the hardware is performing at 85 degrees Celsius even with a high airflow chassis? Then there you will have a doubt if you will still be using a restricted chassis at a 90 degree Celsius temperature. Dito ngayon masasabi natin mga kaibigan that the front panel is just one of the factor in considering what chassis will you choose especially if you are talking about temperature because there is still that kind of factor na ambient temperature thanks to that 27 degree Celsius ambient temperature kaya maganda yung ating naging result. But again, the question is what if summertime and our ambient temperature or room temperature is 35 degrees Celsius? That is 8 degrees higher than we will expect that our 75 degrees Celsius will now run at 83 degrees Celsius. Now what if at worst, lunch or noontime, where ambient or room temperature may reach up to 40 degrees Celsius. That is way exaggerated but you couldn't believe it is also possible in some areas here in the Philippines. That is now 13 degrees Celsius temperature higher compared sa ating current ambient temperature. Therefore, we may end up having nearly an acceptable temperature of 85 degrees and above. So dito ngayon natin mapagtanto mga kaibigan that there is still reason why you will avoid those restricted airflow chassis over choosing a chassis with a better front panel design. Pero still in the end of the day, as I have discussed, bakit ko sinabi kagad yung ambient temperature kanina? Dahil yun po yung dahilan kung bakit we don't just treat our PC builds. You couldn't enjoy your PC gaming experience with a very very high ambient temperature. And at the same time, it will really help for you guys to have a better or wider array of choices because as much as we consider temperature benchmark in choosing the right chassis, of course, in the end of the day, we also want a chassis that is appealing or satisfying sa ating mata. And ang ibig kong sabihin doon is all about the aesthetics. Pinaka-outermost part ng ating build is casing. Ang pangit naman sa pakiramdam if you are not satisfied with what you have. Now, to add more details on the benchmark pagdating sa restricted chassis, we did a simulation by using, again, this Lianli unobstructed chassis covering the whole front panel and uh, seal it with a tape and paper para walang chance na makapasok ang hangin. Now, is the result worse than you think? Believe me guys, the result is still the same. We ended up with the same results as the airflow versus non-airflow chassis. There is just 5 more or less degree Celsius difference. That is quite shocking with this case of uh, testing na ginawa natin. You may think that there's kind of a doubtful uh, methods that I've done why the result is just uh, that kind of difference where in fact our assumptions for the longest time is pag restricted yung front panel talagang masasakal or machuchok yung hardware inside. Yes, it is. Machuchok naman talaga. Pero it is not as much as you think. Bakit? Balikan natin yung sinabi ko kanina. Front panel is just one of the factor. If we check our chassis, hindi lang naman sa front panel ang pinanggagalingan ng intake. Especially if there are fans for the exhaust. Unless wala talagang fans for the exhaust, then you may assume na talagang machuchok Kasi nga walang moving air na nga papasok, wala pang fans na maglalabas ng hot air. There are still mesh part ng chassis na hindi rin naman nakakover ng top fans. There are still mesh part ng chassis at the bottom side. There are still mesh part ng chassis at expansion slot covers together with other parts 
ng rear part ng chassis. Bakit yung temperature benchmark mo between other chassis before is umabot rin naman ng higher than 5 degrees Celsius? Here is the answer. Temperature of hardware inside the chassis can be affected by front panel. Yes, that is the real major part. Pero, orientation is also one of the factor. Chamber size is also one of the factor. And syempre, fans is also one of the biggest factor. Now, we will have a dedicated video for this. But for you guys to have at least a preview on how this wheel works, let's look at the Sharkoon Rev220. Look at the orientation. It's a bit different compared to Lianli. And look at the difference of benchmark. It's very huge. That is so big difference. Given that hindi rin maganda yung uh, front panel ng Rev220 plus the orientation that affected much the difference between these two casings. But if we are talking about same chassis with just front panel as a difference, the result is not as much as you think. What I want to clarify on this, front panel as we always assume is not always the thing that we will look into in checking which is which chassis you should consider especially if we are dealing or we are talking about temperature benchmark. Now let's go back sa ating Lianli 215 unobstructed chassis. Considered or arguably most of the tech reviewers mentioned that this is the best airflow chassis, even me. I cannot excuse myself kasi yan din yung naging uh, benchmark results ko or findings ko with this chassis back then. Pero as we move on with this massive PC case testing that we are now dealing with the numbers of chassis like I think that is 20 plus to almost 30 now, there are few things that I have discovered. That here in the Philippines, we have great chassis actually. Techware Nexus Air is benchmark compared to this chassis and we couldn't believe with the result. Actually, sa sobrang hindi kami nininiwala sa result, ginawa namin ng paulit-ulit yung benchmark. Like, we did it at noon time, lunch time, break time, whatever time, pero still the result is the same. That the Lianli 215 is inferior Pagdating sa usapang temperature, I mean temperature, compared sa Techwear Nexus Air. So what is the meaning of this? Actually, there are some kind of uh, theory na naisip din namin when we did the benchmark. Pero sa sobrang dami na ng theory na naisip namin, we ended up with one thing. Yes, Lianli 215 unobstructed chassis doesn't have a dust filter. Techwear Nexus Air does have a dust filter which is doon ka talaga mapapaisip. Pero dito natin malalaman mga kaibigan that hindi porket mesh yung front panel, it is now a very good one to consider that this is a better chassis over the other. It is also about how big are the holes. Techwear Nexus Air, kung mapapansin nyo, medyo rectangular in shape and in every two holes sa Lianli 215, that is equivalent to one hole na rectangular with no barrier sa gitna. Compared sa dalawang butas, still merong barrier dun sa gitna between those two holes. Pero sa rectangular na cuts or na butas ng Techwear Nexus Air, diretso lang siya. Pero ang tanong dito, is this really a big difference? I may say, yes, since we are dealing with the top chassis pagdating sa airflow as announced by other tech reviewers pero I may also state na hindi pwede lang na uh, clearance siya or something uh, tolerance siya kasi pwede rin namang magkaroon ng possible human error between the scenarios na ginawa namin during the testing and that point something may lead us to equate na pwedeng magkaparehas lang sila or marginally super small difference lang ang meron yung Techware Nexus Air over the Lianli to be considered na equal na lang yung difference or parehas lang yung result. Pero what we realize in the end is that dust filter na tinanggal ni Lianli is not a big factor to gain a better performance especially that there have no uh, numbers shown sa kanilang website 
para i-present sa atin if that is really effective move done by Lian Li. Another thing is, here in the Philippines, we have Techware Nexus Air that can go on par or head-to-head -head with Lian Li 215 at a very cheap pricing. Pero syempre, as I've said earlier, temperature is just one of the factor. Lian Li 215 is still way better for me, especially pagdating sa clearance. Mas uh, less hassle yung installation ng mga coolers, radiators, even sa top or sa front. And the cable management is also better compared sa Techware Nexus Air. There are still several factors that you may consider and that is why this is a better or more expensive chassis over the Techware Nexus Air. Techware Nexus Air may go ahead pagdating sa temperature with a very very marginal difference pero that pricing is also one of the biggest factor why you should consider Techware Nexus Air. So this is not really a Techware sponsored video and shout out kay Sir Jackson Cheng, the owner of Techware Philippines. Pero ayun, uh, I'm just happy to announce sa inyo mga kaibigan na maraming mga benchmarks kaming ginawa recently na kahit kami mismo nagugulat dun sa mga result. Now speaking of nagugulat mga kaibigan, meron pa kaming isang benchmark na ginawa na sobrang nagulat kami and I may consider this that, oops, hindi muna natin to present kasi we don't have uh, enough data to prove our claims once na question tayo. It is actually the experiment na ginawa namin na bit controversial yung naging result for us and uh, quite questionable na kailangan namin tong gawin ulit or i-replicate with different chassis dahil kailangan natin ng mas maganda or mas mabigat na proof to present this. Naglagay kami na tatlong fans harap. Pinatay namin yung exhaust. The temperature is better compared sa naglagay kami ng tatlong fans para sa exhaust pero nakapatay yung fans sa harap. You may also comment down kung meron kayong idea or opinion bakit ganun yung naging result namin na mas maganda kung uh, positive airflow only over negative airflow only. I'm doing this experiment for you guys to have idea which is uh, which ang priority natin especially kung tatatlong fans lang yung nabili natin and that is the common scenario here in the Philippines. Sometimes ang nangyayari tatlong fans lang muna yung nabibili natin tapos siguro after a month or two bibili pa tayo ng another three fans for us to compete all of the fans na compatible sa ating chassis. Now, let's move on sa ating giveaway. I will be doing a PC case giveaway and that is the Deep Cool Matrix 40. Yan po yung ipapag-giveaway natin and simpleng-simple lang po yung mechanics ulit mga kaibigan. Just comment down below para magkaroon kayo ng entry. Subscribe dito sa ating channel and syempre share this on your social media accounts para magkaroon naman ng idea yung mga kaibigan nating iba and for us to verify your account once na ikaw ang napiling winner. And that's it guys. Keep posted and stay safe everyone.